Hello from Level Up 2021. I'm Amir Shaked, SVP Revenue and Iron Source. What I want to talk to you about today is the most impactful uh, mobile industry trends that we've seen in the market over the last uh, year. And I'm going to focus on three main trends that we find that are very, very interesting uh, uh, for you guys. So the first one is going to be ar around COVID-19. Obviously, that had a huge impact uh, uh, across the, the globe. And I'm going to focus uh, on the impact on the mobile ecosystem. And more importantly, where are we going to move uh, forward and what's going to come next? Secondly, I'm going to touch uh, the Android uh, trend that we are seeing around the iOS 14 uh, launch. Obviously, everyone are very focused on iOS 14. And what I want to do is to show you what, what is going on right now on Android. Finally, I'm going to talk about a very interesting genre and the rise of non-gaming. And especially, why is it interesting uh, for you guys? the gaming advertisers out there. Let's start with uh, COVID-19 on the market. And first I want to show you what, like we all felt the increase in, in traffic during the first few months of COVID-19. And I want to show you exactly what happened. So when we look at the chart, this is uh, our mediation uh, data. Uh, basically the total revenue that we're seeing from all the publishers of, of the mediation. And what we felt, and you can see the arrow where um, COVID-19 started in, in the US around March of 2020, we see the spike in traffic in the weekdays. Okay, and you see in, in the blue line. And actually what happened in, in the next few months of COVID is that the revenue of weekdays was almost as, as high as weekend revenue. Okay, and you can see after, uh, pretty much after the summer vacation of 2020 where things got back up also in the weekends. When looking at Q1 versus Q2 of 2020, we can actually see that while weekends only grew by 2%, Actually, the weekdays grew by 7%, and this is the growth that we all felt uh, in the industry coming during the COVID-19 uh, period. When we look and break down the gap of revenue between weekdays and weekends, we can see the change that happened in the last uh, two years. So pre-COVID, we used to have around 15% uh, uh, gap in revenue. I'm obviously talking about ad revenue that we, we are seeing on the mediation. So it was around 15%. You can see in the summer vacation of 2019, where it drops around 7%, obviously, because students are, are at home. And then when COVID started around March, you can see how it dropped to below 5%. Following the summer vacation of 2020, we can see how this went back up to 10%, and it has been stable since. Now, I think the most interesting part here is to understand what's going to come uh, next. And the way we see it, the user behavior has pretty much changed and probably is here to stay. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of a case study from Israel. Israel is interesting because this is pretty much the first country out there where most of the population uh, got vaccinated against uh, COVID. So basically we have a few months of data to see how the traffic behaves following the limitations of COVID-19. This is a chart of data of COVID-19 uh, cases in Israel, where we can see in green around February of, of this year, which was the third lockdown in Israel, it's also where people started to get vaccinated, where we see in blue. And around March of, of this year, more than half of the population were already vaccinated. So again, it helps us to see what happened to the traffic of weekdays versus weekends following that. And what we actually see is that since the start of COVID, the behavior or the gap between weekdays and weekends is pretty much uh, been stable even since people got uh, vaccination. The limitations are all, almost completely off. This is a case study of Israel, but we actually see kind of the same behavior happening in the U.S. and other countries that are lifting their limitation. So why is this interesting? It means that the balance that we knew before COVID is now different. Okay, and, and we see way more traffic uh, during the weekdays, and it's very interesting for us as an industry. So to sum up this part, first of all, most of the impact of COVID-19 is behind us, okay, in terms of the traffic that we're seeing as an industry. And most, uh, I think even more interesting is that the user behavior has changed, okay? It's probably, you can have many theories why. More people are working from home. There are new audiences uh, that, that went in the, the mobile industry and are using more apps, playing more games. Uh, and, and the bottom line is that people spend more time on apps or in apps uh, during weekdays. And that could mean a lot from just higher revenue for us as an industry, but maybe also for your monetization strategies and not, uh, for example, just spend promotions on weekends, but weekdays uh, became very, very interesting as well. Okay, let's move on to the second section. I'm going to talk about the Android trends that we see in the market. So 
obviously a lot of level up sessions and all of us as an industry are focusing a lot on iOS 14, right? How, do, how can you buy better? Uh, how can you be prepared for iOS 14? And what I want to show you now is what, hap what is happening to Android. And I think this is very interesting. And we see some short-term trends uh, that are re very relevant for all of us. So the first is that we see that the share of Android ad revenue is growing uh, versus iOS. Um, this, is an, an, this is a very short-term trend that we're looking at starting in April, around two months ago, where Android, and we have a split of, of US and the rest of the world, where we see that Android ad revenue uh, share really grew. Right? This is extremely interesting, and even more than that is that we see the eCPM for the first time ever on Android higher than the iOS uh, ecosystem. Okay? And this is extremely interesting uh, for all of us. Okay, we looked at monetization trends. Now let's look at user acquisition. So what we see is that advertisers are launching more titles on Android than ever before. For the first time ever, we see that more titles are live on our network in user acquisition on Android than iOS, and this is extremely interesting. If we break it down to genres and looking just at new titles that are being launched, we see it across the board that more Android titles are live. And even when deep dive into hyper casual, we see that more, Android, more apps are launched on Android. That means that advertisers, most of them for the first time, are performing marketability tests on Android versus iOS. And this is a very interesting trend. I gave you hypercasual as an example, but we see the same behavior across uh, the board. And these are all the genres. For example, with uh, Casino, with over 10% uh, growth in number of, of titles. Now, it's not only the amount of titles, but also the CPI. So we see advertisers that are bidding higher on Android. They are shifting budgets, raising their CPIs. And it's uh, obviously a very interesting focus by all the advertisers. When looking at the average CPI growth this year in the US, just in four months, we see almost 40% growth in CPI in May compared to January. OK, this is a growth that is, is we've we never seen before. And obviously, it shows a lot on the focus of many advertisers in the ecosystem. Uh, again, this is something that we're seeing across the board, right? You have sports and racing with a, an astonishing almost 300% growth of, of CPI, but also genres like casual and hyper casual, almost 50% growth in CPI in this year in 2021 compared to 2020. So it's very clear to see uh, where the focus is in the market. It's not only the amount of titles and CPIs, but also how much time and effort and focus do advertisers have on optimization of Android campaigns? When looking at our optimizer, which is our automated solution for user acquisition, we were seeing since last year, middle of last year, we're seeing kind of the same growth of iOS and Android campaigns. And what happened in the in last two months is very interesting. We see that iOS is actually dropping in growth. And it's natural as advertisers are moving more uh, budgets and, and time to focus on tests for the scan environment. However, on Android, we see this, this growth that is just uh, uh, keeps happening and it's probably here to stay. So to sum up this part, Android is super, super interesting uh, at the moment. Uh, we see that the share of ad revenue is growing and eCPM. We're seeing advertisers that are launching more titles, spending higher, focusing more time. So this is very interesting. If you guys are still not focusing on Android, this is a very good time uh, to start doing so. Now, I want to uh, just move over to a very interesting uh, trend that we are seeing with the genre of non-gaming apps, uh, which is very interesting. And it's also very relevant for each one of you here that are uh, running user acquisition for gaming uh, campaigns. And this is the, the most interesting part of this section. So first of all, the non-gaming genre is exploding. We see an amazing growth in over the last uh, couple of years, both in user acquisition by non-gaming apps and also uh, monetization by non-gaming apps, almost 800% uh, growth in the last couple of years. We believe it's probably only the beginning. Okay, and we're going to see this growth keeps, uh, keeps happening. And we see it across many different genres in non-gaming, mostly around social and entertainment, but not only. We see many other genres uh, that, that are uh, uh, increasing, and it's definitely very interesting uh, for the ecosystem. Now, why is it interesting for you? Because the supply of non-gaming works very, very good with gaming demand. And this is where it becomes interesting. When looking this year or the trend of gaming genres that are buying on non-gaming traffic, right? This is from the US. We see an amazing growth this year coming from puzzle advertisers, casino advertisers, arcade, and 
many other genres. So already there are many advertisers out there that find scale with non-gaming apps. And this chart, I think, is very, very interesting. Usually what we see with many genres is that they are kind of a closed environment. So in hyper-casual, for example, over 50% of the traffic is being utilized by other hyper-casual advertisers, right? So there's a hard competition. Let's look at Puzzle with over almost 70% of the traffic being utilized by Puzzle advertisers. However, when looking at non-gaming, this is very interesting. Almost 60% of the traffic is actually being utilized by gaming advertisers, right? So this is very interesting. And we talked about the scale of non-gaming and how much it's growing. We talked about the fact that gaming advertisers are already buying. And I think the most interesting part is the quality. And what we see is even surprising is that the quality of non-gaming traffic is higher than gaming traffic on average, right? So this is a chart that shows average revenue per user of day seven in the US. And you can see in red how non-gaming uh, is actually higher than gaming this year. Uh, we see it across the board, uh, even for very interesting genres like casino and puzzle with over 10% higher ARPU from non-gaming traffic compared to gaming traffic. And also other examples like shooter campaigns that have almost double or more than double of average revenue per user coming from non-gaming traffic. Many advertisers are already utilizing it and understanding it. And, and you can see the average CPI uh, that we see this year and the growth that we're seeing is amazing by casino and mid-core advertisers and some others. Uh, so already there are many advertisers that are utilizing this uh, amazing quality by non-gaming traffic. So to sum up this part, so first of all, this genre is very, very interesting. We see many different uh, kind of, of, of apps of non-gaming and this genre going more into uh, ad-based ad monetization. Um, and we also see it as a very interesting opportunity for gaming advertisers that are running user acquisition, both in the scale, the competition, and also, and most importantly, is the high quality that users, uh, uh, that advertisers are getting from this traffic. So to sum up uh, what we talked about today, three very interesting uh, trends that we're seeing. One was COVID-19, and the, main, the bottom line from this section is that probably most of the impact is already behind us, but we are probably uh, seeing today a different user behavior than what we were seeing uh, a couple of years ago, especially in terms of how many users are playing games or spending time within apps during weekdays. Okay, and this is a very interesting trend to keep an eye on. The second one was Android. And as I, as I showed you, many advertisers are already very, like focusing very much on their user acquisition campaigns on Android, and I can just recommend everyone uh, to do the same. And uh, finally, we talked about non-gaming, a very interesting genre uh, on its own, and also especially as a supply source for uh, gaming user acquisition. So uh, I hope uh, you guys found it uh, interesting, and I hope you will find uh, the other sessions interesting. Thank you very much, uh, and have a good day.